Hello everyone, welcome back to another Apples and Tiaras vlog. Today is Monday, March 18th, and it is day one of maternity leave. I'm in my laundry room, well, my mom's laundry room, um, because I'm doing some editing, and I'm also gonna take a break and play The Sims, because what else am I gonna do today? Um, you're probably going to see this after my baby is born, um, but my baby is scheduled to come into the world on Friday the 22nd, so this coming Friday, uh, via scheduled C-section. If you guys have been with me for years, you already know my birth story with Cash. If not, I will link it down below. I'm not going to get into major detail, but essentially I probably... Um, I am unable to give birth naturally because of my, uh, the way that my body is set up and works. Um, in a pinch, I have a tilted cervix and it doesn't dilate. So my body just wants to hold on to babies as long as it can. <laughs> um, so we have a scheduled C-section for Friday and I'm very excited. Um, I've had a C-section before, so I know what to expect. Um, and so, yeah. I'm just hanging out at home, um, getting some stuff done today. If you guys are new here, I am currently a fourth grade science and social studies teacher in Northern Arizona, and I am officially on maternity leave. So a couple of things that are gonna be kind of important to know throughout this maternity leave series, because let's face it, I'm not gonna have much teaching content to post in the next about five months. Um, because my maternity leave is going to last through to the next school year. Um, so some things to look forward to on this channel are daily vlogs, maternity leave, mom, stay-at-home mom, stuff, just how I'm managing all of life. Um, and so some things that you need to know, some important things are, number one, we live in my mother's home right now because she is building or she is helping us to build a home just down the road. And so we are currently staying here with my family. There are, um, let's see, two, four, six, seven, eight humans inhabiting this home. It is a three bedroom, well, three bedroom and a den home. We have tons of animals. So there's a lot going on in this house. Um, and so part of this video, I'll kind of show you guys like our setup for the baby. Um, and just how we're gonna manage cramming another human being into this house. And I think that's important for you guys to know because, you know, a lot of maternity leave vlogs and playlists and series, people are, you know, kind of experiencing all of this new baby stuff in their new home. We are not doing that. We are experiencing a newborn in someone else's home and we are confined to a single bedroom. Um, and so it's gonna be a little bit different. So I'll show you guys the setup of the bedroom nursery kind of situation in this vlog and just, and I'll kind of just talk to you and show you how I'm preparing for baby since baby is coming in four more days. Um, it would be really cool if I could get this posted before that, that way the next video I post could be like our birth vlog. Um, and then that way everything is kind of like caught up and I can just do like weekly posts on Saturday mornings would be lovely. Um, we'll see. So I'm going to take you guys through some stuff. Um, please ignore the messy laundry room. Again, there's eight people living here. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I think what I'm going to do first for a little bit, it's 1130 is I just edited a vlog. I need to eat lunch probably around noon. Um, I'm gonna play The Sims for like 30 minutes. I'm not really feeling in the mood to do that. Um, and then I need to, I need to go grocery shopping, but my parents aren't letting me drive. So, um, and then I also need to install the car seat today into the back seat. So I'm gonna ask my dad to help me with that. Um, but anyways, let's get this vlog started. Week one of maternity leave.
Thanks, Daddy. All right, we've got both car seats in here. All right, no room for anybody. What's gonna be interesting is on the way back from the hospital, I'm gonna have to just not sit with him. <laughs> or I can try and climb in over Cash's car seat. That's all right. I'll just have to sit in the front. No, he'll be back here without me. Or I'll just climb in. I'll just climb in and sit in the middle. Or maybe you could sit back here. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. How I'm feeling. We did get the duna and green. It's nice. All right, we'll take this inside and read up on it more. Scott will have to come in later and do all the tightening because Papa and I just don't have the strength. Let's see if we can see him from the front in the mirror. Let's test the mirror. Oh yeah. Oh, you can see his feet. Lift the mirror up a little. Yeah, more? Two. Oh, that's good. You can see him. Okay. Perfect. That's going to be way lower than that. Is that going to be down here? Oh, probably. Yep. Okay, we can see him. Okay. Got his first ball. His first Two car seats. Oh, all right, you guys, we got that installed. Um, and so my mom just actually left to run my grocery run for me. They, like I said before, they don't want me driving. So she just left to go do that and check up on my property. We are getting our foundation poured today. So I will ask her to quick get me like a video clip of it so I can like stick it in here. But for now, I'm just going to sit and play The Sims for a little bit. I'm actually playing around with like furniture layout for our new house and then I'll take you guys into my room and kind of show you the setup of the nursery space that we have created for baby. All right you guys so I'm going to show you our room um, and you'll have to forgive me it is like bedding laundry day um, and so I'm right in the middle of washing all of our bedding um, but this is the reality of uh, living in a house with your parents as adults. Um, we pretty much live in this room and so there is absolutely no rhyme or reason for a lot of the things in here, um, but I'm gonna strictly stick to um, how we're incorporating baby into our room. So first thing I will show you is this, um, it's supposed to be like a door organizing caddy. Um, it comes with like the little hooks. Um, our doors here are mighty tall. And so we decided to um, just kind of hang this on the wall here. And it's not really attached or anything, but it does the job. Um, and in this, we're just planning on keeping like baby essential items um, as we get them and as we need them. Um, so we just have some extra wipes in here. These are extra burp cloths. This is postpartum recovery stuff. And then in here, we'll probably just put some extra diapers um, and kind of just fill this space as needed. We also have another one in our baby closet, which I'll show you in just a minute. So the first baby station, I guess you could call it, is this little area here. Um, this is just our normal dresser. Ignore the bra, like I said, laundry day. Um, so this is just our kind of first little station. This is just a tapestry we ordered on Amazon. We used it at the baby shower. It is, um, we're doing like a Wild West theme with baby boy number two. Um, I won't share his name or anything yet just because we want to do that in a more formal setting. Um, but we just have a little changing pad here and a little um, setup for diaper changing stuff. We will more than likely be changing his diaper in bed in the middle of the night, but during the day, um, if we see that we need or want to change the diaper here, uh, we can. And then we also have our diaper trash right here next to our little electric heater. Um, this will be essential for keeping the bedroom warm. 
throughout the night, um, the first couple of weeks. This is a teeny tiny little diaper bag satchel that I found on Amazon. It's like a, uh, what do you call it? A fanny pack. Um, but I just thought it would be good for like quick runs to places. I can hang it on the stroller, throw it in the car. Um, and it can be kind of like a smaller little diaper bag set up. So anyway, um, that is the first little space that we have set up for baby number two. The next area is here next to the bed. This is like the bedside nursery. Um, nothing super fancy about it. Baby number two, you really learn what you use and what you don't use. <laughs> so we have the Dream on Me um, bedside bassinet. It goes up and down. It doesn't go up high enough um, for my liking. It's, I think this is as high as it goes. And next to the bed here, it's going to be kind of a drop down. So it's going to be kind of difficult for me to get him out of here the first couple of weeks because I am having a C-section. Um, so I'm hoping that my husband, which he has assured me he will, <laughs> I'm hoping that we will, he will assist in, um, just getting him out of the bassinet for me um, throughout for night feedings. We did get the Snuggle Me organic baby lounger. Now he won't be sleeping in this. Obviously we know that babies shouldn't be sleeping in something like that, but, um, this is just to kind of put up on our bed, like during the day or, you know, just for regular lounge time. Um, if I need to put him down for, you know, a period of time and I just want him to be snuggled up in there, maybe he'll nap in it. Um, either way, the mattress is still covered up in here because we do have a cat that likes to come in and lay around in here. So the mattress cover is still on and we have sheets to put on there. And then this is the bedside cart. I'm sure there's a thousand videos on YouTube about carts like these. Um, so I'm not going to like go into huge detail, just kind of talk you through it. Um, I do plan on breastfeeding and... I don't plan on doing much pumping in the beginning, at least for the first couple of weeks. In fact, I kind of talked about not doing any pumping for the first six weeks since I don't have any intention of leaving the baby for an extended period of time within that six week period. Um, so I don't need any like pumping things here yet. Um, I'm sure as time rolls on, that might be added. But for right now, we just have extra diapers. I think there's like two boxes of newborn down there and then we have and all of this is probably going to be moved um because right now we don't have baby here yet so there's no need for anything but my stuff to be on top um but essentially some of this stuff might be moved up so we just have newborn diapers we have wipes we have aquaphor um we have a haka ladybug um this is for milk collection um, everything's been sterilized and washed and then we just have extra sleepers down here in size newborn um, those are for midnight changes if we need to change him um, and then again like I said these things can be moved up or down depending on need and then I do have um, a little tray here of burp cloths breast pads and some pacifiers just in a pinch if I need them. And then everything at the top right now is like kind of more like my stuff that I'm using right now. So bio oil, which I put on my belly every night. Um, I have a mini one. And then I get pretty bad heartburn and indigestion. So I use this and instead of Tums and it works just fine. I've got magnesium lotion for my legs because um, I do get some breast, pretty restless leg syndrome and cramping, um, and then tissue for the obvious reasons, just hand lotion. And then we did get the hatch. Um, so we, um, have that programmed for, um, regular bedtime and nursing time with the light and then, you know, just regular. This is awesome. I used one of these in my classroom. Um, this lamp over here is connected to a outlet so I can just turn it on from the bed and I don't have to have the lamp cluttering up the space. I also have a laundry basket right here just so that in the middle of the night, if something gets peed on or pooped on, I can just roll it up, toss it in there and then worry about it later. Um, 
and I'm sure more will be added to this as the baby is here. Um, but for now, that's kind of what we're working with. And then underneath the bassinet, we have a big Tupperware container that has zero to three month clothing stored in it. In the event that we get home and he is much bigger than newborn size, um, we can just pull from here. And then we also have a drawer in the dresser filled with zero to three month clothing as well. So again, that is for if he comes and he's a bit larger than we thought, um, then we can just kind of pull from here. All right, here is the baby closet and this is just a hallway closet here in the house. We have another door organizer. I'm not gonna go through each one because that would take a lot of time and there's a lot of stuff. Um, but essentially at the top we have extra diapers. Most of these are size one, newborn, and then size two over there. And we have a ton of wipes. Most of this was purchased by um, either my students' families or coworkers. My um, teammates ended up throwing me a surprise student baby shower, which was insane. And we got so many diapers. Um, there's tons of stuff up there, just random baby baby stuff like, you know, cart covers and nursing covers and teethers and pacifiers, breastfeeding stuff, and then random little things. And then down in here, I have organized all the newborn size stuff. So we have newborn pants, socks. These are bibs, um, bassinet sheets, sleepers, and onesies. And then up here I have like special outfits, swaddles, sleep sacks, hats, and mittens. And then up in the top we have blankets, swaddles and towels, and then extra tissues. All right, last stop, the bathroom. <laughs> Um, this isn't really set up for baby specifically, but mostly like for me and baby. So uh, we have the baby's bathtub here. Um, and then behind that is all of the postpartum bathroom necessities that we'll need. We have really awesome adult diapers, pads, disposable underwear, more pads, baby wipes. <laughs> um, I'll also keep like peri bottles and stuff here. Um, these are just, you know, obviously if I need to freshen up and throw away. And then we do have baby's bath here and a little scrubby. And then we have baby washcloths. So we have everything we need for baby bath, but most of this is for me. All right, and then the final stretch, we have all of the kitchen items. Um, we got this really awesome collapsible basin to wash bottles in. A breast pump soap, a nano baby automatic brush. This is a bamboo uh, bottle dryer. We have my breast pump here. I got the Mom Cozy S12 Pro. And then we have four bottles. Like I mentioned, I really don't plan on, um, I do plan on breastfeeding exclusively in the beginning. Cash was exclusively breastfed for the first three months of his life and I only stopped nursing because I had to go back to work and it was really hard to pump and balance everything and I'm sure my nutrition had a lot to do with it. I was like focusing more on losing weight than I was on feeding the baby and this time around I'm just, uh, my like priorities are different. So um, I do have, you know, almost four total months, almost five months off. So I do plan on exclusively breastfeeding for those five months and only really pumping to build a supply um, and a stash for, you know, when I want to go to the gym or uh, Scott and I want to go out for a date night or something like that. So, um, but I don't plan on doing much bottle feeding in the first couple of months. So um, there isn't really a need for a lot of bottle stuff, um, mostly just stuff for pumping if I were to need to do that. I do have some storage for that in, in the event that I do end up needing to. Um, I'm not worried about a milk supply. I had no problem last time um, with my milk coming in or anything like that. 
and um, I do have some formula on hand for last minute if like it's absolutely necessary and um, we'll just use what the hospital gives us to get him through until we get home but overall that is everything we have um, ready for baby coming in four more days is it supposed to careful you're gonna break it looks like what's it make the white thing do makes that other person the winner and then it makes this one. See, oh, the white. winner thing pops. Oh, it's so fancy. It's almost as good as cars landed. It's chain reaction. It? Yeah, that's a science word. You know okay, that keep means? trying. I want to see it work. I want to see it work for real. It doesn't go all the way down. No, it goes one. It drops a little each time. Yeah. I know because it goes like it goes like. Sit. That's already been two, three. Good morning, my friends. Happy Tuesday. It is day two of maternity leave, week one, and it's about 1:40 p.m. It's been a very productive day and also not very productive at all. Um, <laughs> I got up at 6.30 this morning to get Cash up and ready for school. Um, and then my dad actually ended up taking him because he was gonna go to the gym after anyway. And then I came back to bed at like 7.30 and I slept until 10, <laughs> which is crazy. I never do that. Um, it was definitely well enjoyed. But then I woke up super behind on like hydrating and you know, starving. And so this little guy was not a huge fan of that, <laughs> but it's fine. Um, some things we got done today, we got all of our like paper documents, um, sorted out for taxes. Cause we need to send those off, um, before baby arrives and we keep them all in this drawer, um, for right now, just because we don't really have anywhere else to keep them. Um, and so they were all kind of just like thrown in there. So we went through everything, we threw stuff away and we're gonna, um, Cash has baseball practice tonight at the school that I work at or that he goes that I work at. Um, and so we're gonna run inside and grab a few folders and like some stuff just for my classroom, things that are mine that um, we can use to help organize all of this stuff. And um, what else did we do today? Um, I got a new debit card activated we checked the car seats to make sure they were installed correctly. They were very loose, um, but that's okay. Daddy Big Muscles um, fixed it. And now we're getting ready to go pick Cash up from school. And then he has baseball tonight at six, which is super late. So we're gonna have to come home, get him fed dinner early, and then give him time to like recoup before he goes out and plays. Hopefully the weather stays nice. Um, it is kind of cloudy. Ooh. It's kind of cloudy outside. Um, it might get a little bit rainy. We're not really sure. Um, the weather here can come and go. Um, we have a visitor in the changing pad. Kingston. Kiki. This is my nephew's cat. Anyway, let's go do that. Excuse me, sir. think this is, huh? I'm gonna have to rewash this. Cause you and your fluffy butt. No! Don't be chewing on that. No. You're the sweet boy, huh? Yes, you are. You're the sweet boy, huh? Yes, you are. Alright, see ya.
Your hair looks so funny. I know, I need a haircut. Today. When? Three. Do you want to go for lunch? Ooh, um, what time is it? Oh, what could you do? Um, Well, hubby and I went and got Starbucks. What are you talking about? Look what I got. I got a grand eye. <laughs> and now we're going to hang out at the property and walk around and envision where we want to do stuff. This is not a grande though. This is a small in America. No, it's a grande. Small, uh, small. Hello? What'd you find? <laughs> don't, please don't hit anything with that. What is that? It says a What's it say on it? It's a fish billy club. You beat fish with it. <laughs> you beat fish with it? Yeah, if the, if the if it's a big fish and you're trying to kill it, you smack it over the head to make it in, so it's inhumane. You don't make it suffer. He's just practicing his form. <clears throat> Okay, now it's time for a roof. Good morning, my friends. It is now Thursday the 21st, the day before baby, and um, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. My mom and I are getting ready to go and run a few errands. Um, we have to stop by the property and meet with one of the contractors for digging a trench to put our electric line in. Um, then we're going to have lunch with my sister. We're going to run to Walmart to get Cash a big brother gift, and then pick him up from school, then run home, feed him, and then at five o'clock he has baseball practice back at the school that we go to. Um, so it's gonna be a pretty busy day. <laughs> Scott's at the gym right now. He's probably gonna be on his way home pretty soon. I just had some avocado toast for breakfast, um, nothing too huge. In this stage, it's really hard for me to eat a ton. Like, I just feel full. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a quick bump date because I realized I haven't really shown you the bump, um, especially not here on YouTube, not like exclusively, like it's just been a quick flash, but I'm going to take you guys to the mirror and show you the official last visual of the bump. That was my 39 week and four days bump. <laughs> um, I've only gained 24, 25 pounds, um, which my doctor was like, yeah, that's pretty normal. She's like, it's not a ton. You know, you've maintained a good healthy weight. My blood pressure has been good the whole time. So I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, I didn't really do much working out this pregnancy, to be honest with you. I think I went like four or five times. Um, I ate pretty good. Um, I just, I have, um, I have a lot of, uh, blessings when it comes to weight gain during a pregnancy. When I was pregnant with Cash, I only gained like 25 pounds with him as well. Um, but you know, with certain perks or blessings, there's always going to be certain 
downfalls like I can't give birth naturally so sure I don't gain a bunch of weight but I can't give birth naturally um, with cash I struggled with breastfeeding um, just like after returning to work I wasn't able to do it anymore um, supply was kind of low um, and so you know when one person has a, a certain type of blessing there's always something that you know, we wish we had that's different. So even though, yes, I don't gain a lot of weight in pregnancy, I also have other stresses that come later. So anyway, we're gonna get going. Um, I'll check in with you guys in just a second. All right, the suitcase is packed. Yes. Can I come in? You can. Can I say a prayer with you? Yeah. <laughs> Charles, let me talk to you. I'll close the door so Rib doesn't come in. Hi, Rib. Dallas, listen to me. You're wearing that damn panty dropper shirt, and I'm trying to make a vlog. <gasps> it's just, it's, it's part of life. I'm going to have to blur it out. My, uh, it's <laughs> not bad. I'm wearing it at home like you told me I could wear. <laughs> just so everyone is clear, I hate this shirt. I love this shirt. Mm-hmm. Why don't you like it? Because it's rude. It's not rude. This is what it talks about. This AR-15 here, not an assault rifle, <laughs> is a panty dropper. Are you all packed? Um, got my shirt. Oh, that's all you need is your shirt. Oh, hold on, I got some more stuff. Uh, you don't have to show us what you packed. In my, my black sweatpants. That's all you need, huh? Right all there? You need. And black on black. Oh, and some socks. <laughs> we decided to put all of our hospital stuff in one big suitcase, including like the baby stuff. Well, I don't know. Which one do you think I should wear tomorrow? Oh, this I don't one know. Or the black one? It's up to which you. Which one do you like better? Or Savannah Banana? <laughs> you want your son to be born when you're wearing a Savannah Banana shirt? Heck yeah! <laughs> Actually, I'll wear these, those three things. Okay. Yep. And that's, uh, that's that. We've also got a bag of snacks and the baby's diaper bag with my wallet ID and all that's in there. I don't have a bag of snacks. It's in on the... Where are they? In the kitchen. Hmm. Are you listen. ready for tomorrow? You listen to me, Alice. You better not attack Jeff. Uh-oh, it's Reeve. <laughs> oh, is it? No. I had to take my hoop out because I don't know if they're going to make me take it out. And I it's hard to put it back in. This one's a lot easier to take out and just put in real quick. So yeah. I had to take that out. I don't know about that one. You said I had to have an open shirt. Yeah, but that's... You just take your shirt off. Yeah. My chest hair is all the way down to my bow fro. Oh. <laughs> what? You. What's wrong? I could put this in my suitcase, though. <laughs> no. Well, let us bring beer. They're not going to let you drink whiskey. They won't, though. I'll sneak it. They'll smell it on you, then they'll kick you out. As long as I'm not highly intoxicated, I'll share with the nurses so that no, they can no, have no. some. No, no, no. Look at this one. Look at this one. Jack, are you ready for baby? Talk about our feelings, Jack. Tell Just me about your feelings. Look at this tail. <laughs> are you compensating for something? Tell me about the time you got beat up for over food for no reason. Oh, you got PTSD from that? Show your paws. Show them. You see this? <laughs> He's hiding. He's embarrassed. <laughs> Did your sister beat you up, Jack? <laughs> What's wrong? It's just a limp noodle.
It was your favorite right there. Oh, she's like, I'm not even near him. It's going to kick me. This one, this one is the coke wagon. Little bit fatty. Little bit fatty. Little bit fatty. Did you beat up Jack? Are you ready for tomorrow? No, not really. But. Ready to um, meet him? Yes. Ready to see his face? Yes. Ready to see what he's going to look like? Of course. Ready to be a new dad again at 33 years old? No. <laughs> Better now than later. Yeah, I know, but we have a six-year-old that's very independent for being six years old. And now we got another one to start all over. All right, we got a helper. Which one's the helper, Jack or Alice? Cash is the helper. Oh, yes. That's true. And my parents. <gasps> well, we didn't have that, then. We didn't have them. Then Cash is going to be the only child. Mm -hmm. We'd have been going to Disney World right now. No. support police. Oh, that's cool. That's what that is. That's what I want to do at our house. Good morning, Daddy Bear. Good morning. How are you feeling today? Um, I just hope everything goes smooth. Me too. Did you sleep good? Uh, no, I had some bad dreams. You did? Talk about those dreams, but yeah. Oh, snap. Were they like involving me? Oh, yeah, I had dreams like that, too. Yeah, those aren't good dreams. They're not good dreams. But you know what is good dreams? Mm. The Dutch Brothers. Dutch Brothers. <laughs> those are good dreams. We have time. Probably. Probably, too. Probably, too. We should be the only ones in line, I would hope. <laughs> in this small town. Yeah. So it's 5.02. Actually, it's Friday. And it's, oh, yeah. Well, all the nurses. Out. Let's run all the stop signs so we can get there. <laughs> and we are headed to the hospital for baby number two. We'll say, we'll say um, we have a baby on the way and we have reasons to break the law. <laughs> She's having a baby. <laughs> I could fake being in labor. It's no big deal. No, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> I might know people. Make sure you take lots of videos. I can't, I'm not allowed to use my phone in the, the, way, the room. How did we get pictures last time? We didn't get pictures of any of that. Yes, we did. Of okay, cutting the umbilical cord? Yeah. We get pictures of you having an operation? No. No, but I mean like. I think the only time. Of me and baby. I think that's before. And like meantime. I think that's beforehand. I don't think they're like. <laughs> we have a model. So that part goes on the bottom. Oh, yeah, way. exactly. Um, <laughs> Just the tape. The okay. tape was like kind of like a
Thank you.